Non-holonomic yaw control of an underactuated flying robot with model-based reinforcement learning. In this work, we derive a lead bracket controller for the yaw direction of a novel micro-robot, Dianacraft. Dianacraft has no moving parts and generates thrust with high voltage electric fields moving charged ions. Other than the thrust mechanism and lack of yaw coupling, the dynamics are similar to that of a quad rotor. The Lee bracket is defined by a series of repeated motions in two planes of motion, generating motion in a third, previously unaddressable plane. In this case, we actuate pitch and roll to generate yaw. The anacraft is shown here with the four thrusters. First, two thrusters are increased for pitch, and then we increase two for roll, then decrease pitch and decrease roll. This is repeated to generate consistent movement in the yaw direction. Though, this controller is very sensitive to initial condition, seen by the divergent control in the simulated example. To counter controller sensitivity, and to remove the burden of expert dynamics knowledge, we compare the control achieved with model-based reinforcement learning. Model-based reinforcement learning is an iterative framework where an agent interacts with an environment, learns a model of the dynamics, and leverages said model for control. To create model-based yaw control, we put a reward on yaw rate and penalize larger Euler angles in pitch and roll. An example trajectory in the yaw pitch roll space is shown here. This video shows the model-based reinforcement learning approach running in the simulator at 100 Hz. The jittery motion is due to the low mass of the robot and the stochastic control but it still performs notably better than the Lee bracket for consistent movement. Here, in the results, the dashed line is the peak yaw rate of the Lee bracket controller, but it causes regular crashes in the simulation. By crash in this work, I am referring to the case when the pitch or roll reaches 45 degrees. In practice, these are unrecoverable states for most controllers, and in the simulator we are using, the linearized dynamics are no longer accurate. The model-based RL approach matches this yaw rate without crashing frequently. Thank you for watching this video and please reach out if you have any questions.